What's up? Hello, YouTube. How's it going? How is everybody? The two people that are here right this second. You know why there's two people here? Summer is kind of almost over, but we're in Florida, so there's that. <laughs> we got it. We got a bit to go. What's up, Caroline? So I'm working on getting the vlog right now. I was like, I'm at my desk anyway, and I'm kind of just waiting for it to export. So I was like, I'll go live. Oh, let me get Facebook in on this. Hang on. I forgot about them. There we go. What's up, Facebook? We got Facebook and YouTube in the house. Here we jump on, go live. I just got finished editing the vlog. I was a little bit late because um, we haven't had, we've been had rain like every single day and uh, we didn't have rain today. So we went outside and spent the whole day outside. It was great. Mom and Abby just came in from out of the pool. So it was great. Well, thank you for saying hello, Leslie. What's up from Northeast England? That's cool. Hey, Donna. Hey, Eva. What's up, Abby? I'm doing great. I'm doing fantastic. I want to move you guys over here onto this screen so that I can still get the vlog up today. That's what I'm currently working on. It's exporting, so then we have to upload it. So the export time and then the upload time, and it's a good 15-minute long vlog, so it takes a little, a little while. It takes a little while. What's up, Jonathan? Oh, thanks so much. Thanks, Kelsey. What's up, Steph? On Facebook? Stephanie is one of Priscilla's friends. Like, not one of, she's like, you know, best friend. So, best, one of Priscilla. Priscilla's a couple of best friends. She's blessed that way. All right, I need to also, I need to build a multitask here. Wish me luck, because that's not my forte. All right, I need to make a new file. And this one, I don't know the name of the vlog yet either. That's a challenge. The name of the vlog. We should name the vlog together. Um, first of all, did you know that the vlog is uploaded on YouTube in 4K? Well, it's uploaded on Facebook in 4K also, but it's uploaded in a square format. Did you know that they were different? Did you guys know that you get so you don't see the full width of the screen on Facebook, but that's just the way that Facebook prefers its videos and people watch it in vertical on Facebook. So something you probably didn't care about, but there you go. You would now have that bit of information. So I have to reformat everything to be in square mode. 2160 by 2160. All right. Exporting Facebook. Hang on, I'll look at your comments. Just a sec. I do it up, have it on slow mode and on um, YouTube as well. Like you can't comment, but every 10 seconds because y'all know it'd be a lot. Oh, thanks so much, Sarah. You're the best. Appreciate you. Um, yeah. Did you get rid of the boat? No, we still have the boat. Um, I attempted to. I almost did a couple of times. As a matter of fact, it was like sold, and then it wasn't. Um, I, I really want to. I really want to put the thing on a trailer. I have to get a trailer for it and bring it here and work on it. Um, it needs. It needs engine. We lost an engine on it, which sucks. Like that's like the most expensive thing. But fortunately, I can do the work myself. I just have to be able to make the time to do it. You know, and all that. And that's. I'll need to come down a little bit. It's too much headspace. There we go. Um, I got to make the time to do it, of course. But the uh, biggest thing is getting the boat to the house because it's in, it's in storage. But that is the plan. We love that boat. You know, that's the thing. Like, yeah, you know, a boat is like a hole in the water you just sink money into. I know that. I'm well aware. We just really like that boat. You know, it's a rare one, too, believe it or not, that specific model. What's up in Vermont? How's it going, Jamie? Tips on dealing with anxiety. So you should go watch Isaiah's YouTube channel. I would recommend. Um, he's going to start streaming um, on. He's going to start streaming on YouTube, actually, video games while he's gaming, and that'd be a good question to ask him. I feel like you know, it's that is his 
area of expertise. Um, I think we all deal with anxiety and stress at a certain level, but he actually has, you know, he actually has panic attacks and stuff like that that he deals with. So he is way more well versed in the world of anxiety than I am. I don't really, I don't, I don't have anxiety. Like, I mean, we all experience the emotion of anxiety. I have no diagnosis or symptoms of like clinical anxiety. So Abby's doing fantastic. Thanks for asking Alicia. She had a pool day today. We uh, blew up the pot dock and floated around on that. She was doing good with that. She hanging out in the shade. Uh, bad things about ABA, huh? Yeah, so, you know, that, that it's the thing with any, um, any kind of therapy, um, any kind of practice, especially when it, where its roots came from. You know, you have to use discernment and, like, gut feeling as a parent when you're getting into any kind of therapy. But I would say especially with ABA therapy. There's just, there's bad parents, you know, there are bad parents. There's bad therapists. I mean, it's bad parents. Too. There's bad therapists. There's, there's bad clinics. There's, you know, and, and that is definitely a thing. And it's going to be, there's bad doctors, you know, you, you've got to use discernment and, um, and be vocal. Like we tell Abby Stavis, like, these are our goals. This is what we want to work on because we feel that we know what's best for our daughter. So we work on life skills, vocational skills, and all that stuff is you know, pushed in that direction. We don't do any stem suppression. We don't try to make her neurotypical. We don't try to take away the parts of her that make her her. And a big part of that is autism. So thanks. Thanks, JJ. Uh, Abby, a sign for shotgun. You know, I know that you mean front seat and that, but I don't know. Like, I don't know how you would go. Um, not, I don't think it's necessary, really, you know, because she is very capable of communicating that without the sign, right? And like language is the whole point of sign language, just like it is with her iPad, it's just, but she has fully grasped that language. And the people that it matters to, as far as the people she would communicate that with, they know that language anyway. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Oh, that makes sense. Thanks Dakota so much, appreciate you. What's up Corey in Atlanta, Georgia, not too far from here. Thanks Alan for the stars, appreciate you. Um, how do I feel about vaccines? I think vaccines are the greatest medical breakthrough um, in in a century, two centuries. How, however long it's been since we began vaccines, I mean, they've saved millions of lives, if not billions of lives. Like, they're vaccines, you know? The, I think that, like anything else, they can be, well, I mean, there's flat out used to make money, let's face it. Like, we haven't gotten a flu vaccine. We, do, we don't get flu vaccines. It's just, it, it only covers a small portion of of the flu variants and it's you know it's kind of to the point now where it's obviously making people a lot of money and so that sucks because vaccines are have been have essentially saved entire countries and saved many parts of the world but then but then people just exploit that and use that to make money and and it you know everything's tainted nowadays nothing's nothing's pure things Juan. that's that's how i feel about them I think again, you got to use discernment with with vaccines. There's some things we haven't gotten for Abigail, which is like there's just no reason to put more crap into her body when there's no possibility she's going to be exposed to some of the things that vaccine protects you from. So, what's up, Ghost in the House? Anne, a member for 12 months. How are I'm fantastic. How are you doing? That is the question. Um, I'm trying to I'm trying to balance between uh, Facebook and YouTube. So please, if I don't answer your question, I'm so sorry. I'm you know, there's a, there'll be a lot of people here. We got 500 people on YouTube currently and 700 on Facebook. So, yeah, and I, I think you need to form your own opinion about a lot of things, but be educated on it too. Like, take the time to read. Don't just read headlines. You know, read articles. Read the full article. Look at studies, not opinions. That's what I like to do. Thank you, Jamie. Appreciate you. You are the best. All right, we're still working on the export. Oh, I guess I can go ahead and get YouTube uploading. Hopefully it doesn't. Hopefully my internet can handle streaming to two different places and uploading a, fork, a 15 minute 4K video at the same time. Let's find out together. Thanks, Jonathan. What's up, worship? How are you today? Oh, 
me see what you said there, Robin. Don't type a real long one, guys, because then I can't. Then I, then I have to hit see more, and it doesn't work like that. Crap, I lost Robin's comment. Oh, well, that's that's awesome, Robin. I'm glad that we can help, you know? Glad that we can help. You know, parenting is 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 pretty universal with a lot of things. You know what I mean? We just have the um, <clears throat> we just have the distinct um, opportunity to see things from a different perspective because of Abigail's diagnosis and to really hyper focus on these things um, that help with her development. But honestly, like a lot of this stuff, like you guys, especially on Facebook, you guys point out all the time how the the things that we talk about they apply to like most kids, like most of the things we talk about apply to all kids, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So what's the goal of the new vocational schooling? So <clears throat> the goal is to continue what we're doing here, but the difference is what we were looking for while we were homeschooling last year was, and that's a great question because I, you know, this gets lost in the weeds a lot and I don't get a chance to really sit down and explain it thoroughly. Um, so what we were looking for last year was to do the homeschooling, but also add in um, vocational type activities outside of the home, different environment, different activities where she can really learn and grow in that environment. You know, uh, she'll she'll go to a restaurant, for example, and they'll work on um, preparing for the restaurant to open for lunch. You know, so rolling nap, you know, rolling silverware, whatever that entails, um, helping them get set up for lunch and, and and uh, this is not like a paid position or anything like that. It is truly learning vocational skills. So if she gets one roll of silverware done, then and it's and su is successful with it, that's a win for the day. You know what I mean? So then we move on to the next thing and, and keep building on that. Um, it's not like a you know laborious, like repetitious job type of situation. She's actually learning skills. When she masters those skills, she moves on to something else. It is for her benefit, not for the not for the business's uh, benefit. Thank you, Vilma. Oh, that's so good to hear. I'm really glad that we can help with that and uh, help with with the boy that you're that you're providing care for. And and thank you for providing care because that's it means a lot to us parents and loved ones. Isaiah's calling me. Please stand by. Hello. Hey, I'm live right now on on YouTube and Facebook. You want to say hello? I I'm live. I'm just chatting because I'm waiting for the vlog to upload. So I jumped on here real quick. Yeah. He said, hey, guys, uh, what's up? <laughs> You're nervous about your stream later. That's funny. I'm going to put you on speaker. Isaiah Moss YouTube channel where he's going to stream. Yeah, you know, it's it is it's a little nerve wracking when you're trying to multitask like that, but you'll do fine because you have a good personality. I was maybe going to get one of my friends to play with me, but I'm not sure. Uh -huh. You got to be selective. Yeah, well, it's Max. He's pretty chill. Oh, okay. But the main thing is, like, I don't know. I don't know. It's it's Elden Ring co-op, too. So mm. part of the stress that I have with it is that it may not work. Oh, and yeah. That's mostly what I'm nervous about. I got you. Well, so which you, we'll see how it goes. Yeah. I, I'll help you out with that a little bit later as far as your tactic for getting it set up and everything. Yeah. All good. Yeah. Well, I'll let you go. All right. I'm going to run by Lowe's and the groceries, so I'll see you. Appreciate it. All right. Bye, bye, guys. He said bye. <clears throat> Isaiah was helping uh, grandparents today. He was over at Nanny and Dad's house helping them with stuff and helping them pick up their their Sam's Club haul and all that. He's a good boy. Um, what were we talking about? Okay. So that's part of it. We, we were looking for something like that last year where she could go with her teacher and do those things. But... This actually works better because it's a vocational program. They have a business where they, you know, work with kids and they can go in as a group into these settings. It's just, it's an easier in into a lot of these businesses because these businesses are eager to help on their community, right? And like, you know, um, provide these resources for people with disabilities. So that was part of our goal with it. And then also the social aspect of it, like we get to add that to our schooling. Um, we don't know what, you know, we don't know exactly how many days she's going to do because it's all flexible. Like we know what, what they offer. We know what the program is. 
Um, but we don't know exactly how many days we were going to do or the flexibility of that or, you know, whatever, because it, it's, it's a decent drive away from here as well. Um, so that's kind of, kind of depend on Abigail though. Like I don't want to overload her as well. Like if she's doing, you know, five days a week and, and she's 18 now, she's not a little kid, you know, it, it's a, it's a whole different, it's a whole different thing now. So, um, but you know. Wow, thank you, Velma. You are the best. Oh, uh, is that the one? I, yeah, I got Taz. Don't worry about it. Ain't stressing. Yes, go subscribe to his channel. Go check it out. He's gonna he's gonna be streaming later, and he's pretty funny. He's a funny. He's way funnier than I am. You work at a grocery store, Amy? That's cool. That's cool. There's a couple people at um, our Publix over here with disabilities. Um, so, and that's a big reason we shop there. Um, one for, you know, supporting a business that hires people with disabilities, but then also because it's easier for us to go in there with Abigail, you know, like all the employees just get it, you know, does Abby like unicorns? Uh, I don't know. You know, I don't know. I don't know that she's a, a unicorn fan. Maybe. If the unicorn dances and sings, then I would say yes. Thank you, Ghost in the House. A or Anne. I should call you Anne, I, su I suppose. Tiffany Griffin is a new member. Keegan Kircher is a new member. Shout out. Um, we don't have a P.O. Box anymore, guys. I am sorry. It got it got to be a lot. And, I, and I, I'll be honest, I don't want you guys sending us your you know things that, that you're buying with your heart and money and stuff like that. Take it and donate it um, to an organization that's going to benefit other people. That would be that would be fantastic. I would genuinely appreciate that. You can even say, you know, in in uh, honor of Abigail, if you want to, whatever you want to do. But that would mean so much to me. And then message us and let us know you did, because I want to I want to tell you thank you personally for it. So, Abby does like stuffed animals um, more so when she was little. She did, you know, big squeezable ones. Uh, she liked. I am familiar with spina bifida, actually, you know, to an extent. I don't have anybody in my family with spina bifida, but. Yeah, it's going to be a great thing for her. You know, we're hoping it's a good fit and it works out well. You never know, especially now that she's older. She's, you know, it's been, um, it's, it, this is, I don't mean to scare any other parents. This is a hard stage, you know. Teenage year, teenage years is a is a super hard stage. All right, now we're really gonna break the internet because now I'm also uploading to Facebook at the same time, uploading two 4K videos and streaming at the same time. Let's see if we can handle this. Come on, come on, Xfinity, don't let me down. Yeah, yeah, donate to, donate to a local. I love. I love working with local um, autism groups and communities and charities and stuff like that. It just, I feel like the money, like if you give five bucks to a large corporation, a large nonprofit versus a small one, I feel like that five bucks just goes further, you know? I may be wrong, but I feel like it does. So. Do you guys ever regret having Abby? No. It is a dark question. I understand your question. Um, um, that's, that's one of the benefits of having this channel as well, is that we've been able to explore these topics, you know, cause we have had these questions before and we've had people make comments, you know, especially on like our shorts and our reels and stuff, cause they go viral from time to time. So you get people that aren't viewers that, that comment on things. Um, since she was 13. Wow. That's a long time, Caroline. Thank you so much for the super chat. Um, it's not, no, absolutely not. Of course not. You know, I, I feel like that's, you know, we talk, we've talked about burden before. Um, Priscilla had a conversation with, with a lady when she was at her conference. A um, lady had medical issues that presented themselves later on in life. You know, she was already married. She's in a wheelchair now. Um, beautiful, beautiful woman, just absolutely lovely. 
And she talked about, you know, the, the burden of family and stuff and how she knows that she is a burden on her husband and whatnot. And and we've addressed that before, but, you know, I think it's important for people to remember, like, like disabilities can be burdens. Personalities can be burdens, you know, like, like there's just, but the person themselves are not the burden. And that's what, you know, the symptoms of a, of a disability can be a burden. And you guys have to understand like the context of the word burden, right? It's easy to put a negative connotation with the word, but it's, it's not a negative thing at all. It's, it's not positive either. It's neutral. It's, it's just a thing that exists. You know, it is a, a burden is a load. It's a weight. It, it requires work and it requires, um, you know, you to do more than what you would typically do without that burden. So, um, but as far as regret, or wish or no lord no i mean she i mean she's made me a better person she made me a better dad she's done the same thing for her mom she's made isaiah she's she has formed a lot of who we are as people and she's had such a positive impact on just the immediate people around her you know um absolutely not you know i think that's how we are measured is by the impact that we have on the world and hers is huge so Thank you so much, Candy. I'm so happy that we helped you out, Candy. That's awesome. Oh, you got the blue chart? That's cool. We love that blue chart. Um, actually, the vlog that I'm uploading right now, I talk about um, taking away that, that morning schedule, just kind of see how she does, because she does with that schedule it's like perfection you know she has nails and every little step of getting her cereal and getting her hair ties and you know helping with all that stuff and putting everything away and like her full morning routine she nails it so we took the schedule off and i just kind of talk about how sometimes you know the goal isn't necessarily to get rid of the schedule the goal is to create independence and the schedule could be a tool and if you're utilizing that tool to create that independence that's totally fine you know that's that's kind of the first part of this video today but well thank you marianne i appreciate that thank you thank you and we are happy happy to inform beta bracelets yeah the beta bracelet so she's done beading before like with the larger beads and the strings um yeah that's a good idea though What thumbnail? Is there a thumb? What thumbnail? Oh, the thumbnail for this. Yeah, it does the, like this automatic thumbnail from your um, from your channel. So yeah, FBI Black SUV. That's a heck of a name, but I and I appreciate the super chat. I love <laughs> I love your YouTube name. There was a somebody in my neighborhood in our old neighborhood that had. Um, their Wi-Fi was FBI surveillance fan or something like that. It's pretty funny. Oh, thank you, Melissa, for the stars. You are awesome. I'm trying to scroll through Facebook. That's why I have my thumb in your face right now over here on Facebook. Well, congrats, Jamie Buckman, on the house. and That's awesome. Glad to hear your husband's doing well. Uh, man, you know, your son has learning disability and sometimes when he talks to me, it's really loud, not sure what to do. Kathy, you know, um, gosh, I don't know without knowing your son, you know, that'd be hard, but a lot of, I mean, that's just, sometimes things are what they are, you know, um, you could work on volume levels. I would use numbers for volumes, like a number scale, like, like they would in a classroom and, uh, you know, kind of work on him with what volume levels mean. You know, like a whisper would be a one, you know, let's, let's be a three and kind of, if we learn those volume levels with numbers, and then you can use that information later with him, like, like that was a five, you know, we need to be at a three. Let's, can you say that again at a three? And because you're not responding to what he's saying or asking for at a five, you're making him say that a three in order to get that confirmation that he's looking for or answer that question that he's asking or whatever. So that may help with that because, you know, is it a problem that he's that he's loud and yelling and, you know, talks? No, that's not a problem at all. Abby yells all the time, but it will limit it could limit access to the world around me. You know, it's startling when Abby yells in public behind somebody. So we, we try to work on that. So we don't want to limit access to the world. So that that's where that can come into play and help. 
Um, he's 28. Yeah, I mean, it would still work, you know. Um, it would definitely still work. Isaiah talks loud, too, you know. He's an extremely loud person. And we're just like, you know, so it, and we've done the same thing with him, but we don't use numbers, you know. But, uh, but you know, uh, but we still have to prep him for it, if that makes sense. Like, you know, I'll tell him, like, hey, man, when I, when I do this, you know, if we're out in public and I'm like, if I just do like a little little hand gesture, that means you're yelling right now. Um, he just gets worked up. He's an excited talker. And I'm sure you guys know people like that. But then he's not embarrassed. Then he doesn't feel corrected or anything like that. Does Abby like to be alone? She does. She enjoys pretty even balance of being alone and being around people. We got very lucky with that because sometimes in the autism world, it's not a thing where, um, you know, some kids want to be in their own world. And that's that's can be hard on relationships and on parents and family members. So thank you, Sophia. I appreciate you. Um, but Abigail is a very social person. You guys see her all the time. I'll be in here working and she come, comes and gets me. And that happens 20 times a day. Um, is Abby ever able to say no to filming? Yeah. So that's part of like with her alone time. You know, um, what you see on the internet is about, I, I did the math on it one time. It's like less than 1% of our lives. I can't remember exactly what it is. But it's, it's, I just, we just leave her alone, especially as she gotten older, because she, um, she'll let us know when she's all done. And it's pretty much in general, you know, she's never had an issue um, with a camera per se. Um, she never expressed, you know, any kind of discomfort or like push me away or, or anything like that. It, probably a lot of that has to do with like, it's kind of like on me a lot, you know, like I'm, I carry around a camera, you know, things happen in life and you want to document them. And because that's what we do. We vlog, right? Um, that's never occurred. She's never shown any signs of issues or discomfort with it, but she definitely doesn't want to be messed with in general. That happens with or without a camera. Like I, you know, when I end the vlog, um, during the day, you'll see, I might actually have a camera on me, like in the house for again, 1% of the day, you know, the rest of the time I'm doing normal things I'm doing. And she'll still tell me she's all done. She wants to be left alone. It's just common, you know. She's a teenager. So, uh, yeah, Abby does experience some anxiety when she goes to stores. Um, but she's she's a trooper and she's working on that. She works really hard at it. Um, Abby goes to a special needs camp. It's, it's um, all people with disabilities in general. That makes sense, Abigail. That makes sense. Thank you. I think our dogs are cute too. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the thing. Like she, it's not, I also don't push the limits as far as, um, Kayla, not responding to your comment, Kayla, like, um, uh, don't push the limits with her as far as her personal space either. Cause I know, cause again, and that's just cause you know, who she is and what she does or how, how she behaves and stuff. I, if she wants to be left alone, I'll leave her alone. But yeah, it doesn't happen very often that she tells me to go away because she likes her dad. She's the daddy's girl. I'm her favorite person. Everybody knows it. It's fine. Priscilla fully accepts it. Her and Isaiah have a really special bond. Um, Isaiah and I do too, but we also butt heads a lot because of the whole like alpha male thing in the house. You know, the the old lines getting long in the tooth, so to speak. But um, her and Isaiah have a really good relationship, and then Abigail and I have a really strong relationship. So. No, she never went through. Um, do I just? Uh, Isaiah is picking up an order from Lowe's for me. <clears throat> Would I recommend going through an ADHD diagnosis as an adult? Um, that's kind of one of those things. Like, it depends on what you're looking for. You could potentially self-diagnose in uh in some situations um you know that's certainly that's certainly possible <laughs> it just depends on what you're looking for for that diagnosis you know if if you struggle with the things that you see like are adhd related act accordingly you know what i mean if you need to be medicated then you need it you need it you're gonna get a diagnosis but 
you know, if you're looking for, you know, medical help in that area, you're going to need a diagnosis. But it's also going to be, a, I, I'm pretty much, I'm pretty sure like most places is a long waiting list. Like I have a ADHD diagnosis, but I haven't taken a medication since I was in like early high school. So what's up, Jess Young? How are you doing? Good seeing you. What kind of autism was Abby born with? There weren't kinds back then. Um, on her, as far as her official diagnosis, infantile autism, they didn't have levels back then. Um, so we thought she was going to have to get like a, a you know, re-diagnosed before guardianship, but that wasn't the case. Yeah, but so I don't know. I'm I'm a big like ADHD superpower kind of person. It it is it is a struggle. Um, you know, there takes, it definitely takes some self-realization, self-awareness in certain areas so that you can be effective in, um, in fixing the things that are difficult for other people to deal with, because it can be damaging for relationships. It can, it can make it very hard. You know, one of our big struggles in our marriage is, you know, my ADHD symptoms. Um, so you know, the things that I do because I have ADHD and I have to be self-aware and I have to work on that. Like I got to, you know, I'm capable of fixing things. So it's my responsibility to do so. I don't, I'm not real big on blaming it on the ADHD. I mean, I know the reason why, but I'm not going to use that as like a, an excuse, so to speak. Um, I work on those things. I, I try not to to be that way. And, uh, you know, with those specific things, it's not like, you know, I'm not going to take away a diagnosis or anything, but the rest of it, man, like the creativity, the, how much I know about everything, just because you hyper-focus on a topic and like, you know, the, I'm a motorcycle mechanic. I'm actually a diesel mechanic, a, a, a ship mechanic, you know, marine mechanic. Um, but on, on big diesel engines, like pistons the size of basketballs for reference, the ones in your car about this big, you know, depending on how big your motor is. You got a Hemi that big, you know, the ones in your car this big, the ones on a big ship are this big. And, uh, I, that's what, that was my trade. And now I'm editing videos. I have, uh, I had a motorcycle repair shop. I, I, uh, had a miniature business where I was editing or I was, uh, repairing iPads and iPhones and stuff for people in town. Um, you know, I've, I've done so much because it was, um, because of these, uh, hyper focuses that I had. It's also hard for me to stay on track. I do a lot of editing in my videos because, uh, I'm able to speak more clearly when I can edit out the pauses when I, when I lose track of what I was saying, even imagine how hard it is to maintain track of what other, other people are saying. You play banana game with your mom. That's awesome. It's the best game ever. It gets pretty, pretty violent. <laughs> we get angry at each other because, you know, you just ride down the street and the first person to call banana and you're like, oh, I didn't know we were playing. But that's the rules, too, though, is you're playing at all times. There is no leg. Are you, are you still alive? I'm still alive. Hi, guys. Look who it is. How are you? Wow. Why do I look so red? Uh, it's this camera. Oh, okay. Yeah. You do look red on that camera. Look at you. <laughs> Hello, Hello from Holland. A lot of people on here. I do. The vlog is uploading. That's why I was. Holy cow! There's a thousand people on on Facebook right now. <laughs> Tell your Hello. wife to make a cookbook. We are working on it. It was a secret forever, and it, then it. We have to make that. Can we make it happen this in year? In 2023. Can we? Okay. It's been on my vision board. You got it. You need to cook, and we need to take photos when you cook, and that's just all there is to it. I feel because all the time. You because we have photos. we have all the recipes. Um, for what do I? I don't why know. Do I look weird? Well, I look pink too, on on YouTube. Yeah. Okay. We have all the recipes for everything, but um, but we need to take like professional photos of the food while we're doing it, yeah. and I need to write everything out because Priscilla doesn't cook with recipes. Yeah. She cooks off the top off the dome, so we have to capture that when you know what I'm saying. Does that make sense? We have to capture it in the moment and I got to write everything down and then we got to put it into, we have a template set up for her cookbook. We're working on it. I'm actually going in to make guacamole and salsa right now. That can be a Taco thing. night. 
what's the best way to react if someone's having a meltdown? Like, okay, it depends a lot. It depends on the person. It depends. Yeah. So on the, the mm-hmm. how what the meltdown's about. Like, yeah, I wouldn't help. I wouldn't help unless unless the person, you know, if you see a parent, you can see in their eyes they're looking for help. A lot of times, the help that's needed is is to help get to help them get other people to leave them alone. Yeah. You know, because um, parents, people with autism themselves, they're very capable of handling these kind of situations, and and they're very knowledgeable on it. And, and you helping one, you may be, we may be very good at helping Abigail with a meltdown, mm-hmm. which may trigger someone else to have a worse meltdown if we use those same tactics. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, you know, sometimes it's hard. Tomatoes. <laughs> Um, what type of iPad? Um, Abby has an iPad Mini. It's the it's specifically the four, iPad Mini four because it still has a home button. They got rid of the home button on the recent iPad Minis, um, so it's difficult for her to navigate a swipe only type of. Abby's just hanging out in the living room. Yeah, she's chilling. She was in the pool and hanging outside all day, so we she just, wants to be left alone. We just had our next guest check into the airbnb so that's exciting yeah one checked out today and one checked in yeah we got another five-star review so we're stoked yeah no priscilla's not burnt like, i'm not like it doesn't look like that at all does I mean, it look like that on facebook no no not as bad no a little but not what is going why am i i need to like this is what i need to do with my life but i'm not burnt <laughs> no it's so funny we will give her a kiss and hug for sure There's so many chats, you guys. I'm trying to read as much as I can, I promise you. <laughs> Sleeping's going great. Um, we had, like, one night, uh, like, two weeks ago. That was uh, that was rough, but other than that. But Isaiah and I were up anyway yeah. playing video games, so it didn't matter. Um, <laughs> Sandy is outside. I know. I look sunburned, and I'm not. I'm not. I got a little bit of sun today, but not. I was out there forever. Yeah. Oh, we're. I'm happy you were here, Ginger. That is actually hard to make. Uh, she's still doing the make makeup vlog. She's still so yeah. She does makeup and skincare. Um, she goes live on uh, Lipstick Mama and uh, Pots Pans and Priscilla. Priscilla Solo stuff. stuff and things. We're waiting for Facebook. Instagram, things. Facebook, all the all the places. An overseas trip, yeah, I think I think we would. I definitely see that in the future. You know, with Abigail being able to tolerate a lot more than she used to, build. and she understands that's a big part of it too. Is she doesn't get the anxiety because she doesn't have the fear because she understands so much more now, right? Yeah, like she just she knows what's going on. Well, we um, I mean, we took her on the cruise, which was overseas. Mm-hmm. I mean, is that technically like yeah. it's out of the country? She has a passport, so she can go. Yeah. Yeah, we are. We've done it one cruise, Patricia, and we're getting ready to do another one. I know. I'm so excited. So, hey, wow. Hey, girl. That's some hair, dude. Come here. You want to say hi to the peeps? Slide in. Come over here. Come here. Come front, say hi. Front and center. <gasps> Look, Look at you. Oh, are we sitting on dad's lap? Okay. All right. Say hi. <laughs> More what? More. Oh, we're stimming. We're stimming with our hands. Okay. What do you need? <sighs> You need more of what? What do you need more of? Where's your iPad? Can you go get it so you can tell me? Don't take my cup. I'll be right back. Okay. We'll get her more of whatever she's asking for more of. Thanks, Kara. From Alberta. Wow, yeah, yeah. Honestly, Nancy, it's been a long time since we went live. I was like, on a whim, I was like, I'm gonna go live. Here's the thing, too, though, right? I want to go live for YouTube and Facebook members, but then people get all bent out of shape when I don't go live on, on, you know, for the Gen Pop as well. So we just have to do both, you know. I have to do like these lives, like hang out type of stuff, and then we're gonna do them for, for the other folks as well. But this is the only way that we can do it. You know those those lives are super chill. Those there's not very there's not a lot of people in there. Just you know 
hanging out. Everybody's chatting. Move around the house. I can carry you guys with me. It's, it's nice. Go live outside or hang out by the pool, that kind of thing. But, you know, well, we haven't been live in a long time. And I and I genuinely miss it. This is nice. This is fun. Well, oh, thanks, Jana. Priscilla thinks so. But, uh, yeah, so that's what we're doing is Autism on the Seas. Um, we went ahead and booked with them again, of course, because it's such a great, such a great organization. Um, it's one of those things like, you know, if you're saving up for a family vacation, look into it. You know, it's it's fantastic. It's such a great experience for the entire family. The fact that we can go and like nobody misses out on anything because of, you know, because of not being able to attend things or whatever. It's, it's so good. It's so great. Every it's great for everyone. And that's what that's what was great for us. That's what we appreciated so much. You know, Isaiah had so much support there. There were other siblings of people with disabilities, you know, specifically autism. So, uh, Royal Caribbean. We're doing a Royal Caribbean cruise again. Um, I think the same ship. I think it's Harmony of the Seas again. I don't have a PS5 name. I have uh, Papa Moss on, uh, on Twitch and on YouTube. When we when we stream video games, I do play video games. I enjoy it. I have not seen Desiree Gwynn's message. What is similar to me being a brother and now a dad to someone with disability? That's a great question, Kayla. Goodness. Um. What is similar? So compassion and you know what's the most similar? Here's the most similar. This is what my brother taught me. So we would get in like wrestling matches and stuff like that on the trampoline. I gosh, such good memories. So we had starter jackets. Y'all remember starter jackets? We had starter jackets and we go out in the wintertime on the trampoline and our starter jackets. And we do like full contact tackle football right and we would beat the crap out of each other and we would play x-men i was always colossus um because you know i was the big brother um derek liked being cyclops because he could shoot out of his eyes and he wore glasses so he thought he was cyclops sean i think sean was always like spider-man or wolverine or something i know spider-man isn't x-men but still marvel so shush Yes, Jennifer, um, we're going on a cruise um, soon. So anyway, we'd wrestle and get into it with each other, and, and someone would always get mad and always end up in, like, a fight, you know? One time Derek turned left hook because his right hand – he has cerebral palsy. His right hand um, is, is much less functional. And he left hook caught me in the jaw because he got mad at me. And it was kind of one of those moments that it was like, you know – Looking back on it now, it wasn't like, oh, my disabled brother hit me. It, nothing was ever my disabled brother. It was always just my brother, you know? So then when we had Abigail, like, that transferred over. I treat her first as Abby, first as a human, first as, you know, I, I don't know. Does that make sense? Like, and th I think that's the, the biggest similarity is, or what it taught me, having a brother with a disability is, like, and I talk to him like that all the time, like, I'm like, quit telling me about your plans to be a YouTuber and do it. If you want to make gaming videos, do it. Stop talking about it and just do it. You know, I don't cut him any slack. Asa has five siblings. Yeah. I have zero. <laughs> I have four brothers and one sister, two older brothers, two younger brothers. And then my sister is, is in the middle. I'm in the middle there as well. So. Um, you haven't seen them because Crystal and Emily and the kids moved back to Portland, Oregon. Mm -hmm. Yep. Their house already sold now. How are things looking for the Jags? Whoop, whoop. I'm so excited. Hello. Hey. I cannot wait. We're all still on live. No. No. I'm not gonna do any plumbing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We gotta do plumbing. I'm not gonna get into that right now. 
We can do that anytime. I do not play games on my phone. Cool. Sounds good. All right. Oh, yeah. Is he grabbing the things I need? Yes, he's going by the grocery. We have a, we have a, so you guys want to know what he got for Prime Day? This kid. I can't wait. <laughs> On Prime Day, what was the other thing that he ordered? I don't remember. There was one thing he had to have, and then there was another, I can't remember what the two things were, but, so one of them was a bidet. He wanted a bidet. And there was a bidet on sale for Prime Day, and he's finally installing it, but his, the valve to turn off the water, the toilet doesn't turn off the water. So he has to get a water main wrench. Because for some reason, I don't have one from Lowe's. That's what he's picking up so that we can install his bidet. But he's not doing it right now, right? He's getting the water main wrench. Oh, he is. He's picking up the wrench. I, I had a, a order pickup from Lowe's. Oh, because you said I'm not doing any. I'm not replacing the valve. Oh, gotcha. The pipe valve in the wall right I now. Gotcha. Yeah, I'll do that later. Because he has to get tomatoes. I forgot he's, tomatoes. He's going to get your things. tomatoes. Babe, he needs his bidet. I know. Okay? That's a priority. Will you ever be allowed to leave Abby alone for anything? Um, she's pretty alone right now. You know, sometimes at a house and living room. Like, um, leave what? Can you help the lady that's What's wrong? in the... The lady that's in the Airbnb. Uh-huh. The She's trying to figure out the um, AC. Very hot. Um, it's at seventy three. Well, that would be very hot to me too. Yep, I just tell her I just set it to sixty nine yeah. four. Call her because she tried. Go ahead and call her. Tell her I just set it, but you can do it right on the thing. But tell her I can do it remotely too. It's downstairs. It's so? downstairs. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, thermostat's downstairs. Tell her I went ahead and lowered the AC for her, uh, but if she, you know she can control it right on the touch screen downstairs. Isn't that crazy? I control the air conditioning at the Airbnb. <laughs> 2023, man, 2023 is weird. Genetics testing. No, we never did genetics testing. Um, nobody's monitoring. There's like. There's like stuff that's like message retracted. I don't know. I don't know why it would like. I don't know what those says. I'm not super familiar with, um, with the messaging on live streams. I don't know like like if there's certain words that aren't allowed. Like there's this really long list of words that you put in there that um, that we comments are held for review. Just you know you wouldn't want anything questionable being put up there. So it'll hold that comment for a review. And it won't show it to the public. So sometimes that happens on regular YouTube videos. So it might be the same on live, I would assume. Uh, yeah, we've had an Airbnb now um, since June was when we opened that for the first time. It's We're at 91% booking with five stars. So, woo! Triple tasking, right? The blue-white keyboard. This was... Um, a prime day thing as well. So it's an F12 made by standby FL Esports, I think it's called. It got really high reviews. So yeah, FL Esports. I will copy and paste the link for you because there's also a coupon. All right, the link is coming right now. Um, there's a $30 coupon on that keyboard. You're welcome. It's a dope keyboard too, I love this thing. It did not come with a wrist pad though. I had to buy that separate. That one controls up and down, right? Yeah, both okay. floors. I was just making sure. Yep. She didn't ask me that, but I was just making sure. Yep. Yeah, it runs over Bluetooth, Wi Fi. I'm a key I'm a keyboard nerd. Keyboard and mouse nerd, hundred percent. This is the This is my other gaming keyboard. It's a one single one handed keyboard. I've had that one for a long time. You're welcome. Happy to help. Yeah, it's mechanical. 
uh, mechanical and the color. I don't remember what color switches it has in it. I think they're the clear switches, but it's satisfying. Super satisfying. <laughs> I'm a nerd. Oh, Isaiah already knows about the tomatoes. He's got a, he's got a list of stuff that he's getting. So, super nerd. You have a touch screen laptop? I, I've never, so I've never used a touch screen laptop. Like as in, I've, I had one a couple years ago, I think, but I never used the touch screen feature on it. Never. So I, I've been using Macs ever since. Local resources in Jacksonville. Yes. Yes, I can absolutely help. Scylla, so Amanda um, Ribeiro. Hey, Syl. Yeah. Amanda Ribeiro on Facebook. I'm going to tell her to send you a message. Okay. On where do you want her to send you a message? About what? Resources in Jacks for autism. Okay, yeah. Just like on my Facebook account. Or Lipstick Mama. Lipstick Mama. Go on Lipstick Mama, search up Lipstick Mama makeup or Lipstick Mama on Facebook, send her a message, just say, you know, you're the one that asked questions about resources in Jacksonville. And um, and Pr Priscilla has a bunch of information on that stuff. So she'll be fast with it and uh, she can help you out there because there's definitely there's definitely a lot. And there's some good organizations that you need to get up with as well. Um, you know, other parents and whatnot. Collapsible fin. Someone asked about that. Okay, again, hold on. Hold your hold your horses. Um, shoot. Let me. I gotta look at my orders because I gotta I gotta remember the name. Priscilla takes it on every trip. We have two of them. One stays in the RV, but she takes it on every single trip. She even keeps it by her bed at night in case she gets a little bit hot. Listen. There are copies of this thing out there, okay? Don't buy them. You need to buy this one. I'm telling you, nothing is better than this fan. It has changed Priscilla's life. Um, I sent it on. I sent it on YouTube. I put the link on YouTube. It's it's the yep. Go check that out. Um, you guys, I'm telling you right now. I'm I am helping you with this fan. It like, is the greatest my thing girlfriends ever. were laughing at me last week because I had my fan with me. Because yeah. I don't know about y'all, but I have to have like fan moving throughout the night because I feel I get like get all clogged up. Yeah. And um I had the fan next to me and then we were um we were getting ready and stuff and like trying to get our suitcases closed and it was ridiculously hot in there and so we were like bumping down the fan <laughs> the fan is out of stock huh no it says uh not for me this is free delivery i guess well it depends on where you're at hit add hit. to cart and see oh yeah it says in stock right there yeah it says in stock. there's a white one black one it yeah it's not bad at all it's not loud at all no, super quiet, super portable. Abby has never been a picky eater. Mm -hmm. We're so thankful for that. Yeah, that thing has been that thing has been great. So back to football. Who's ready for? Can football I add the link season? to the fan on Facebook? I will add the link to the fan on Facebook. Hang on. I came from Facebook for the link. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said. Hold on, I'll, I'll I'll put it on Facebook as well. <laughs> It's I'm so, telling y'all, it's so good. It's like changed Priscilla's life. I would not talk about this. So fans, I don't but. know how old. How, maybe y'all can help me with this. But like, how old are you when you're like premenopausal and you have like hot flashes? Because I feel like that. You look like you're having a hot flash on YouTube. <laughs> you feel like you're literally on fire right now. I don't know um, why you're so red looking. Because that's how I feel sometimes, and so um, this fan has changed my. No, she has not, Laura. I was 40. okay. See? I put the link. Okay. I put the link on Facebook for you. I don't be sorry. There I'm so go. ready for it, y'all. I'm like ready for it. I'm one of those people. I'm a weirdo. Asa doesn't want to get old. I'm like, bring it on. Then I can say things, and I don't even have to apologize for <laughs> it. Like, there, there's a whole new like 
Yeah. The world is the world is your oyster when you're an old lady, right? Yeah. How do I find your Airbnb? Oh, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, ours is showing that it's in stock. Um, how you would find our Airbnb is by booking in Blowing Rock, North Carolina. If you're vacationing there, look at available places for the dates that you're going to be there. Um, we did post photos and stuff like that. So you can scroll Do you not through. want to post a link? Yeah, I mean, I can. It's fine. Um, it, it, not really, no. I'm sorry, I don't. Okay. It messes with the algorithm because what we get, not the algorithm, but our data. So what's important to me is like how many people click on the link versus how many people book it. And we're at like 38% booking rate right now. So what that means is that out of everyone that's booked, book, you know, clicked on the link, one out of every three people have booked it. And that's great. So when we first opened it and we shared the link, it was like point one seven percent because everybody wanted to see it but nobody you know but nobody's booking it because they're not traveling so i'm sorry but i can't <laughs> but if you are looking to actually travel send me a message and i'll give you the right i'll yeah. do that hang on um i'm sharing lipstick mama oh my gosh, so um, many things to share on facebook um, because she said she couldn't find it to send you a message about resources in Jacksonville. Oh, okay. So there you go. I just posted that. Okay. So that is there for you. Just send her a message. She ain't trying to sell you makeup or nothing. I mean, unless you need it. But you think uh, I'm going through air um menopause? Airbnb. <laughs> you think I'm going? Oh, thank you, Spidey. I That's appreciate so that. So cool. A recording studio? DJ Colin, come on, come on. X-ray didn't happen. Are you serious? For real? Your husband knows DJ Colin. Man's a legend. You know, imagine, imagine being in like every music video for the last ten years, and all you gotta do is say your name. You know. DJ, you know, Deep come on. Productions recording I'm Googling it. <laughs> I'm going to friend request your husband. <laughs> I want to meet DJ Khaled. I do not have a yellow hat to match my. Oh, my daughter 42 just starting. Okay. Okay. See, I'm there. I am there. I told Asa, and I've been super emotional. I mean, I cry it all the time because that's just my personality, but I've been super emotional lately, too. Shut up. Found him on Instagram. Look at that. TJ Khaled right there. Deep corrections. Oh, I love Jared and Britt. It would be cool to meet them. I don't know if our schedules will ever collide where we or mesh so that we could do that, but it would be cool to meet them. Is your husband's name Brian? I should have said that. <laughs> I mean, I cannot believe her. Oh, Brian Tyson. Oh, there you go. There you go. Brian Tyson is her husband. Look at that. Wow. He's so cool. I that was cool with Brian. Right, then? I mean, I'm here for it. <laughs> Chrissy's 46 and starting menopause. She says, How or where did Abby learn to swim? At, uh, Priscilla and her mom taught her in their pool. I was at work one day, and Priscilla and Abby used to go um, to her mom's house like every day during the summer while I was working. And uh, one day, you know, her mom was like, Why don't we just take um, Abby's life jacket off and uh, see what happens? You know, um, and they had her swimming, and she like did it like immediately. So they were just trying to give her like a little shove, direct her, and towards her mom, and she was swimming back and forth. So, so cool. yep, very cool. Oh, you've been live like an hour. I'm, I'm this. I'm, it's a big. It's a big video. It's it's uh, okay. We're uploaded, and we're uploaded. Okay, so now I can do the thumbnail. All right, so today's YouTube video is a fantastic one, you yes, guys. The, the 
Yeah, he's gonna check it out. One hundred percent affects the Abigail too. Um. Yeah, you guys need to check out today's vlog. It's gonna be up. Uh, yes, there is a vlog explaining Abby swimming. Yes, for sure. Um, give me like, uh, I'll schedule it for 8 p.m. Eastern time. So if you guys watch it at 8 o'clock, we'll be Gucci. It'll Did be ready you... to go. Oh, it's in the vlog. What? Okay. It's in the vlog. Yeah. It's in the vlog. Do you want spoiler? No. <laughs> watch in the vlog. See you later, Geekalupa. Uh -huh. Were you aware still it took the victory? Yes. Yes, I was. I was aware. I was giving her a thumbs up. But it's funny. I didn't know what the comments said or anything like that. She posted it on Facebook. And then I went back. I got out of the pool like 17 <laughs> minutes later. And I looked at my phone. I was like, crap. I didn't even make it to the 20 minutes that most people said I would. So I went and got a beverage and got back in the pool again. <laughs> my sweet guy. He cannot. I'm like, just relax a little bit. He like, he's like, he has a weed eater out. I'm like, what are you doing? We get our yard done. I'm like, what do you have the weed eater out for? There's some, um, there's some, doing weed there's weeds coming up to the rocks. So I was taking care of that, you know? And then I was like, oh, we need to get the pop dock out. So I blew that up. Next thing I know, I'm like sweating through my shirt, and, you know, on a on a relaxing pool day. Working, man. I cannot. I've not tried the midnight blend. Never. I'm afraid to try something different, you know? I try the same thing. Every time, just a medium iced coffee or one cream. That's it. I'm very, very plain and simple with it. Abby has a small decaf with one pump of caramel and one pump of cream. Yes, Isaiah is going to go on the cruise when he, um, you know, he was so stressed about it. Cause he's like, well, I'm starting my job. So I'm like, that's normal. But when you go to start a new job, you just tell him, like, hey, I already have this planned. And usually, so, they were totally fine. I'm ready to talk about display. Set to five. What? What? Can you send me a message on that, Joey's World? Because I would. That's. I don't understand what you're saying. So, if you're not on YouTube, Joey's World said, Have you guys heard about the new screening at Universal Studios regarding the new policy about disabilities? You have to register and be accepted by an outside company. It's not discrimination. That sounds discriminatory, doesn't it? Or like, what about HIPAA rules? Like, right. Like, it is a violation of ADA. Yeah. I need that. Now I got something else to hyper focus on that I'm going to research everything on. That sounds crazy. If you saw your crazy. cookbook, will you put it on Amazon? Yeah. I'll put it everywhere. I don't know how to do it. We'll figure it out. Anybody know, like, a, what do we need, an editor? Publisher. A publisher. No, you can self-publish. I have looked right. into that. Like, can we, like, how cool would that be if somebody can help? No. If you're, like, legit. No, no. That's okay. not, that's not a, no, that's not what a publisher does. A publisher doesn't do any of the, like, they just get the book out. No, I know. We have people, obviously. We don't need to get the book oh, out. Oh, I gotcha, I gotcha. Yeah. The publisher handles all the back-end, you know, distribution, all that stuff. Um. Uh. Yeah. DM me on Instagram and I'll I'll look for it. Send it to me. It shows. No. No. Send it. To, I'll just send me a message now. That way it goes to the top, and then we can converse back and forth. I like. I'd like to call you about it. You know, Zell. I want to talk to you. You know, her voice. That's crazy. Publicist. Man. Um. That's nuts, man. I I couldn't imagine. Like you gotta. I'm not big on suing people. I prefer to publicly change them so they change their policies. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm really not. I'm, I'm not a fan of suing people. I, I think it's it wraps up a lot of courts' time and just, you know, people get sued for ridiculous things. Um, you know, we sued the school district because they breached the contract. It was a binding contract that they breached, and Abigail's education is worth dollars, just like everyone else's. Every child's education is worth a dollar amount. And they took those dollars. The school took those dollars. They get funding because of Abigail's disability. And they, it was a misappropriation of funds. So, uh, 
What's up from Billings? The vocal team misses you guys. Oh, what's up? Hi, guys. Phoenix. <laughs> How funny is that? That is funny. That's okay. So that's our favorite buckle. You know, the store we get a lot of Abby's Best clothes from. Best store ever for kids with autism. Like, I'm just going to put it out there. <laughs> like, it is. Okay? No, it's not. The music's too loud. It, no, it doesn't <laughs> matter. It's sensory friendly. Yeah. The, the staff is over the top. Like, well, like, well, like the well, they make commission. Like, I don't care. They deserve it. They're fantastic. They have gone over and beyond for yeah. our family. And it's not just one buckle. It's all the buckles. Yep. You're, get what you pay for, people. Okay? The clothes are really good quality. She's still wearing clothes that we got from Billings, right? She's wearing clothes that we first got at the yeah. very first time we went to um, Buckle. But the, so Priscilla went in there. <laughs> Buckle has some um, young woman clothing that's provocative, okay? <laughs> but so when you go yeah, in there, you're, you're, like, you're like, oh, no, like this is not the right store. But then Priscilla talked to um, one of the young ladies there, and she's like, this is our situation. We want, you know, I don't know does know how to sit in a, in, a, in a dress. She doesn't know how to adjust her clothing to cover up her body parts, right? So we need, like, so they personally took the color around the store, mm -hmm. and, I mean, they put a lot of time into it. Yeah. A lot of time. They fully deserve that commission. It was such a good, it's always been a great experience, and I think that's the biggest, especially nowadays with customer service the way that it is. Having a company, having employees that are trained to provide exactly what you need, you know, high rise pants and, you know, not too many holes because her toes get stuck in the holes as <laughs> she's trying to put the stupid jeans with the stupid holes in them, you know, Buckle's got a lot of jeans with holes too, but they have jeans without holes, so. Or minimal holes. Minimal holes. She gets her toes sticking out through the holes and she's trying to slide them on because she, you know, she's still learning to dress herself even. And it's, yeah. you know, we just got to that point where she's putting her on clothes on so yeah i love that store i actually she's gonna be starting her new program and so i need to uh go get her a few things mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. it's from our local one sorry billings we're not there <laughs> but if we were oh uh, we're gonna come back though we loved billings yes we did billings was amazing yep Right. Uh, that's that's okay. So that's the problem, Morgan. Yes, the store's name is Buckle. Yeah. That's the problem, Morgan. Is that like I, I get it. I I understand it. You know, you see people with service dogs. They they have a service dog vest that they bought off of Amazon. And you, know, I'm just speculating. You know, I'm just this old dude. Like that's not a real service dog. You know, but I'm like. The dog's acting a fool and obviously not trained and all that stuff. Um, or just had a bad trainer. I don't really know. I don't really know the situation. But you look at me like, service dog, man. Just because you put a vest on it with a patch and you bought off of Amazon, which you fully totally can. There's only two questions you can ask. You know, you can't deny access for that dog. Um, it's, it's tough. And, it, and it's, it really makes it harder for people with real service dogs to, to come into places. Um, and, and at a minimum, it increases the stigma around having a service dog in places because you have someone with a fake service dog that has to pull. Um, so I get the point of it with, so Morgan, by the way, if you didn't, guys didn't see it, it's meant to verify the person with an accessibility card is actually disabled and not someone using it fraudulently. So I appreciate the protection for the community but at the same time, that's 100% a violation of ADA. We have to prove, like, thanks for the kick in the gut, Universal Studios. We got to prove that she's autistic to, come on. You know, I get it on both sides. I genuinely do. I'm a pretty level-headed person with stuff like that. I just, it's a little frustrating. When are you going to start doing something more with fashion and styling? Hmm. Hmm. You know, it's so funny because it used to give me a hard time about all my clothes. Like when I, um, <laughs> when I go on trips, I'm like, how many people asked about your outfits? Sir? Somebody did. Somebody asked me about my t-shirt. Did they? Yeah. About your yeah, they just asked me what my t-shirt said. But, um... <laughs> Um, Galaxy Watch versus Apple Watch. 
Carmen. How would you prove it anyway? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Are you going to bring well, your paperwork with you? You used to have to. I mean, you've always had to go to Disney. They didn't always necessarily um, request it, but you did have to go in there. And remember, we had to show her IEP. That's the same concept. We did? Yes. No. Nah. Yes. No. Nah. Years ago. Yes, we did. Come on. Yep. We had to show her IEP. But, okay, so the other thing is. Um, oh, my gosh. Y'all stop right now. You have to register at IBCCS, and they're requiring medical proof IEPs, etc. But this is a third party that they're talking about as well. You have to go through a third party. Thanks. Appreciate you, Karen. It's great hat. That's why I said no oh, stop. It's a yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm such a show, nerd. I didn't even realize food. it was the same. I'm such a nerd. Same brand. I, yeah, I don't know, man. I kind of get it. I, I guess I get it. I just, it's just sucks. It's just another thing that sucks. Yeah, I guess both sides. Yeah, for sure. It's still a violation. It doesn't make it not a violation. Someone could, could make a big stink about it if they wanted to. I probably won't. Oh. If you get accepted, you have to wear a wristband at the park. So now you get to wear judgmental looks, you know? You know? You're not wrong. That scarlet letter, you're a rapper, you have to put that on you. Like, part of the club. And so Abigail that wouldn't care. She wouldn't care. She has, well, she's not going to wear a wristband. First of all. Good luck with that one. Um, but she wouldn't care. She does not care about your judgments, about your looks, about anything like that. A, a lot of people wouldn't. Some people would. Some people genuinely would. Where like they have, you know, severe sensory processing disorder, but they can handle, you know, the park. They have to go to the quieter areas. There are quieter areas um, at, at Disney and Universal. They have to go over there and, and, and take time to chill out and relax a little bit, so that they can go back in and have fun. And that's how they manage, you know. But then they got to wear this wristband. Wristband where it's like, hey, I'm special. You know, some people don't want that. I don't know. It gives me the ick. See, this is where he and I are different because I'm like, whatever, I don't care. But uh, I agree with that also, Nicola. 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 You don't have to join anything, Kevin. You can just follow us on Facebook. Just hit the follow button, and that's it. You'll, you'll get all the same content, okay? Scrolling back through Facebook here. Um, we've never used the sensor alarms for Abigail. We've always just used, I mean, we have them on the, you know, the exit doors. Um, but not on the, um, but we always just had a gate. She doesn't climb. She's not a climber. So excited, Kyle. Cannot wait. Stop bringing up football. God's sake. When are you going to do a travel moss vlog again? Probably when we go on a cruise. Uh-huh. We'll, we'll vlog the cruise. Yeah. We'll do some of it on Father Autism because it's Autism on the Seas. And then we'll put some over on more moss, which is travel moss is now more moss because this is more than traveling that we want to. And I'm going to tell you up. right now, if you've never done the autism on the seas, 100% recommend it. I would. Yeah. It's fantastic. Well, I'm making tacos. There's no way I'm going to get this up by eight if I don't get off here with you guys. Okay. Hey, it was so fun hanging out with all this. SeaWorld may be autistic friendly, but it's not. Um, stop yeah. elbowing me. It's not fish friendly, guys. <laughs> Don't go there. Oh my gosh, stop. He's Yo, sick. you can't go. Nobody should go to SeaWorld. Nobody. Sorry. Nobody. It's, come on. I'm so upset. Do you know there's an orca in South Florida? That's been like 60 years, 50 years. Do you know that? It's so sad. 
so sad. Um, what are you currently watching on Netflix? So, <laughs> so funny story. We don't actually watch TV very much. I don't know. You you watch more Netflix than I do. I have one show I'm watching right now, and it's um, sixty days in. Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. I mean, it's not funny. No, it's not funny. It's sad. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. crazy. Yeah. The contestants are funny. The people that are like implanted into the jail, they're funny. They're hilarious. Um, what do I watch? Depends yeah. on that's another that's another ADHD thing is um I binge when I watch. Like I'll watch a whole series of something over like two days and not be nearly as productive as I should be, and then I won't watch anything. Ella, I agree with you. Like, if you have the bracelet on, then you don't even have to explain anything. Like, people just know. Like, nobody else is going to know. It's just the workers, which I think is going to be, you know, that's going to be beneficial. So. Yep. Okay. I got to go get the vlog uploaded. And I have to start. And Priscilla's going to start. This was 30, fun. o'clock almost. Wasn't this fun? So fun. I've been on here that long. I've been yeah. on here an hour. And I'm yeah. happy of it. I had a good time. It was great. We should do this again sometime. You guys let me know when you're available. And uh, okay. We'll do it again. All Bye. Right. Love you.